Hi, Trailblazers. How are you guys? I'm back with another video. <laughs> no, y'all. So I'm just first wanted to apologize for the camera quality of the video. Um, I was trying to record it on my phone, but you know, the enemy wasn't trying to let me be great. So I said, you know what? It doesn't even matter because I need to get this word out to you guys. So I'm recording on my com um, HP computer. So after I can kind of figure out um, my whole phone camera situation, get some more storage situation, I'll be recording back on my phone. Um, and then maybe later on I can get a camera. But anyway, I just wanted to say hi. I've missed you guys so, so, so much. Um, I wonder like, what you guys been up to. It, like, there, It's supposed to be spring, I know, in a couple days, uh, maybe a week or two. So it feels really good outside. I'm actually... Um, near my patio, if y'all can see, um, like by my patio and I have like the door and stuff. So I'm like half in, half out. And then I have like a little plant right there because I'm trying to get this little, um, you know, doors, outdoorsy kind of vibe going on. But it really feels like so, so good. Isn't it so good? Like last week it was snowing. Now today it just feels really good outside. So anyway, enough blabbering. Um... I'm trying to think what's been going on what's been going on so just talk to the people right um yeah like this last week or so i have been up and down up and down literally like a roller coaster um people have been exited out of my life and i've been kind of just struggling with dealing with that of like god you know god has given me sign and sign again about you know folks having to leave they gotta go they gotta go but i'm just like no god why please i want them to stay and he's like no cut it do you trust me you need to cut these people and they got to keep it moving so I'm just like, okay, cool. You know, I was being hard-headed, um, long story short, being hard-headed. But, you know, God does what he's going to do regardless. Um, and that particular person had to leave. But I'm still just very grateful for everything that God has done um, in my life. So I don't want to make it about that, you know, because there's so much more going, happy, wonderful things that are going on. Like getting back on the channel trailing to the kingdom and getting back and just talking to you guys and loving on you guys as well as you you know pouring into y'all as much as y'all pour into me so i just want to say thank you so anyway um this past thursday um i go to this ministry these young kids youth, you just call it youth ministry that i go to it's like five minutes down the street from my house and i usually just go and i'm just very observant and i just you know go with like fellowship and prayer and everyone the kids like lead and so i went and one of the girls natasha bless her heart i kind of got there kind of late y'all i'm still working on um Sorry, some people are texting me. I'm still working on my punk being punctual to places. Um, so I got there kind of late. I just kind of like wanted to like slide into like worship and stuff. Like we were about to break off in small groups. And Natasha came to me. She's like, oh, so you're leading um, small group. And I'm like, but I'm not leading small group. I didn't prepare. I'm about to go to this group that I go to every week. What are you talking about? She's like, no, 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 you're leading, um, God told me to come and tell you that you're leading small group. And I'm like, Natasha, quit it, girl, quit it. I'm not leading small group. I, I mean, I'm still just dealing with something that happened a couple days ago. I just need some, so y'all can pour into me. You get it? Y'all can pour into me, okay? Um, because I'm just so empty. I'm so hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, uh, no, 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 no. God told me to do it. I'm like, okay, cool. So, next thing you know, it's like these other group girls, they come like, oh, we're part of your group. And I'm like, whoa. I'm thinking it's going to be like three people. No, it's like seven, eight people leading groups. So, you know, I'm like, okay, God, if this is what you want me to do, I would do it. And... It's just so interesting. Um, one of the other girls, Anam, she said, she was like, yeah, really, you're not really technically doing anything. She was just like, God's just using your voice because it'd be kind of weird if um, God, used your, God spoke out like in a man's voice <laughs> and you're a woman. So really, you're not doing much. God's just speaking out through you. I'm like, cool, cool. So 
small group started and it was just like really awkward and I'm just like okay God you know what do you mean to say what do you mean to talk about you know usually we'll have like a scripture and then we'll um break off into um talking about the scripture like what the scripture means to you and like to everyone else that's in the group so God um Natasha was like oh well, just look at what's on your um look what's on your phone because I have a scripture on my phone and she's like just read that and just talk about that and I'm like okay so I don't know if you guys can see I have a scripture on my phone it's been up there for maybe a, like a month or so now and I'm just gonna read it to you guys um and we can just talk about it so the scripture is Isaiah 43 um verse 19 and then I also have my um book too and this is my study quest book um, by NIV. So it says, um, Isaiah 43, verse 19, it says, watch for the new things I'm going to do. It is happening already. You can see it now. I will make a road through the wilderness and give you streams of water there. So I just want to say, um, so that in itself was like, whoa. Okay. Okay, God, that's, great so for me um if you just like break it down watch for the new thing i'm going to do it is happening already and you're like it's like that fast watch for the new thing boom it is happening already in front of your eyes and i'm like oh jesus yes like he couldn't god can literally like he has to take things out from like take things away from us snatch it away from us take it away from us tell us hey I'm going to give you the chance to take this, dismiss this, and see for the new things. He's like, the new thing. I, every day, is there's a new thing, a new um, new chore you need to do, um, new servanthood you need to do, new person that you need to meet and speak to, um, a new um, scripture in the Bible I need you to read so you can learn about, a new thing. There's always something going on. Um, and I just thought it was so awesome. Like, see, I'm doing a new thing. Um uh, and it's like, man, God, like, for us to always be wallowing in our past, it's like, why? Like, that is gone. That's no more. Let it go. Because when you let it go, it's like, God is going to be giving you something else. It's like so amazing to know, like, ooh, you know, it's like that new that new shirt you have on, that new dress, that new whatever. It's like God's doing the same thing. You know, he's always wanting to propel us to a new dimension, a new season in our life. And like, sometimes we're like, so accustomed to to the mundane so accustomed to the ritual so accustomed to that old relationship so accustomed to the old habits that we're so used to doing that god's like he's 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 like breaking it apart like literally breaking the puzzle pieces apart breaking up the roots breaking it up because he needs to have new soil for us to have that new thing and i think that's like so awesome um, and then just going on, it's happening already. You can see it now. And I think even with that, sometimes it's like, God, but I don't see it. And he's like, but it's sometimes it's in the finite detail. You know, it's not always like this huge thing. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm talking extremely fast. I need to slow down. But then I'm like looking also, y'all, I have like at eight minutes, I'm trying to cut it to like 10 but I still need to cut it, slow it down. I'm sorry. I get really excited and I just be like, <laughs> so thank you, y'all. I'm working on that. Okay. So going back to the scripture, um, I went to read um, on the side. It has like a question. So it says, what new thing was God doing? And it says, um, God is not predict predictable. Um, he loves doing things in new ways. In the New Testament, we can see this in the fact of Christians are new creations. And it says, I am making everything anew. So what was once is anew again. So that bad habit, that bad relationship is no longer. God is putting something new in your life. He's trying to pour something new into you. And it's like, are we ready to receive that? Just like the seasons, like there's always something new that's going on. And we need to be excited and willing and expecting that God has something so amazing for us in our life. Um, and then I love y'all, you know, God loves the wilderness, you know, oh, breakthrough. We got to go through. God loves the wilderness. Okay. God, if you're going to, if you are expecting something 
just know there will be a wilderness or an island, which I like to call. I'll be going on these islands. It's going to be something. Something's going to happen. Island, wilderness, forest, what have you, you're going on it. I.e. this tree, this wilderness, this branch. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, y'all. So, yeah, and it says, I will make a road through the wilderness and give you streams of water there. So right after that, he says, watch for the new thing I'm going to do. It is happening already. You can see it now. I will make a road through the wilderness. So after you say you're going to give me a new thing, I'm supposed to be expecting this new thing. I can see it now. I got to go through the wilderness. Bruh. I... I, and then on here it says, NIV says, I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. And then before that it says, now it is springs up, do you not receive, perceive it? So right after you said, I'm going to give you a new thing, boom, I'm going to the wilderness. I got to go to the wilderness. <laughs> let's, let's go, y'all. We're going to the wilderness. We're going to, but it, the, I think the amazing part is that even during the wilderness, God is giving us streams of water there. So it's like you're not really on the wilderness by yourself. And honestly, during those times of being in the wilderness, that is when we really can see God really work in our lives because God is like, you know, putting us aside, working on us, dealing with us, molding us, getting us up together. So then we can receive that new thing that God has for us in our life. Because if we're holding on to everything else, how is there room in our storage box to receive that new thing. No, we need to go through wilderness. We need to climb through stuff. We need to get through stuff. We need to have God pouring into our ears, into our eyes, so we can see that new thing. Um, I really hope that works. I hope I wasn't talking in circles, but um, I just think it's great knowing that, okay, you know, we have to like let stuff go, like let it go, move on, let the past be the past, learn the lesson that was supposed to be learned. And Get onto the new stuff, the new thing. This is like a new year. 2017 is a new year. It's March. It's supposed to be springtime, a new season, you know, in our life. You know, God asking God to deliver us from something of our past. Get over it. Move on. You know, knowing that God is amazing and that sometimes that God wants to show us like, hey, that new thing there is like, I don't, cause I don't want you to be stagnant. I need you to, I need you to come on. We got to go. We got places to do, places to be, people to see. We got to keep it moving. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, yeah, just look out for that new thing um, that God has called for us to do. And sometimes it's not always glitz and glamorous. It's not like that, you know, you know, new, oh, God's going to give me my man, find that new man or that um, new, you know, whatever. But sometimes it can be the small thing like, wow, God has um, delivered me from my selfishness or God has delivered me um, from, let's see, my cursing. You know, that could be the new thing. Like, wow, I don't curse anymore. I can, you know, Take that off, tick that off my list. God has delivered me from cursing. That's like my new thing where now it's like I speak positivity over my life and other people's life. That could be a new thing. You know, it doesn't, it's not partic have to be one thing or another that's a new thing. You know, sometimes it's like internally, externally. Um, but just look out for that new thing and just knowing too that the wilderness is a mandatory, y'all. We have to go through the wilderness because if we don't, um, we tend to kind of like put our trust in other things and not realizing in the wilderness is where God is. Um, and he's making a road and he's supplying us with water. So I hope that helps. I just love you guys so much. Um, and yeah, this video is getting really long. Um, but yeah, just let me know the new thing that God is doing in your life um, and what he's been sharing with you. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking out the window. But I think God is amazing, and I love him so much, and I love you guys so much, and like I said, I really want to be more consistent with my videos, and just come in and checking in on you guys, and um, yeah, I love you guys <laughs> so much. Have a great one, Trailblazers. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye. I love you.